See Sarah, captain of the host of King Yarveen of Canaan, lay sleeping in Yael's tent. Then Yael, Khabr's woman, took a tent pin and took a hammer in her hand and went softly to him and smote the pin into his temples and it pierced through into the ground, for he was in a deep sleep. So he swooned and died. And behold, as Barak pursued Sisera, Ya'el came out to meet him and said to him, Come, and I will show thee the man whom thou seekest. And he came to her, and behold, Sisera lay dead, and the tent pin was in his temples. So God subdued on that day Yarvin, the king of Canaan, before the children of Yisrael, and the hand of the children of Yisrael prevailed more and more against Yarvin, the king of Canaan, until they had destroyed Yarvin, king of Canaan. Shofetim, Judges, Chapter 5 Then sang Devorah and Barak, the son of Abinoam, in that day, saying, For that the leaders took the lead in Yisrael, for that the people offered themselves willingly, bless ye Yahweh. Hear, O ye kings, give ear, O ye princes, I, even I, will sing to Yahweh, I will sing praise to Yahweh, the God of Yisrael. Yahweh, when thou wentest forth out of Sheir, when thou marchedst out of the field of Hadom, the earth trembled, the skies also dropped, yea, the clouds dropped water. The mountains quaked at the presence of Yahweh, even this sea nigh, at the presence of Yahweh, the God of Israel, in the days of Shamagar, the son of Anath, in the days of Yael, the highways were unoccupied, and the travelers walked through byways. The rulers ceased in Israel. They ceased until that I, Devorah, arose Arose, that I arose a mother in Yisrael. They chose new gods. Then was war in the gates. Was there a shield or spear seen among forty thousand in Yisrael? My heart is toward the governors of Yisrael that offered themselves willingly among the people. Bless ye Yahweh. Tell of it, ye that ride on white donkeys, ye that sit on rich carpets, and ye that walk by the way, far from the noise of archers, in the places of drawing water, there shall they recount the righteous acts of Yahweh, even the righteous acts of his rule in Yisrael. Then the people of Yahweh went down to the gates. Awake, awake, Devorah! Awake, awake, utter a song! Arise, Barak, and lead away thy captives, thou son of Abinoam! Then came down a remnant of the nobles and the people. Yahweh came down for me against the mighty. Out of Ephraim came down they whose root is in Amalek. After thee, Benyamin, among thy peoples, out of Machir came down governors, and out of Zabulon they that handle the marshal's staff. And the princes of Yishashakar were with Deborah, as was Yishashakar, so was Barak. Into the valley they rushed forth at his feet. By the watercourses of Reuven there were great resolves of heart. Why sattest thou among the sheepfolds to hear the pipings for the flocks? 
at the watercourses of Rouven, there were great searchings of heart. Galaad the bird beyond the Oradan, and Dan, why did he remain in ships? Asher sat still at the haven of the sea, and abode by his creeks. Zavulon was a people that jeoparded its soul to the death, and Nephtali upon the high places of the field. The kings came and fought, then fought the kings of Canaan in Ta'anach by the waters of Magiddo. They took no gain of money. From skies fought the stars, from their courses they fought against Sisera. The river Kishon swept them away, that ancient river, the river Kishon. O oh, my soul, march on with strength. Then did the horse hoofs stamp. By reason of the prancings, the prancings of their strong ones. Curse ye, Meroz, said Yahweh's messenger. Curse ye bitterly the inhabitants thereof, because they came not to the help of Yahweh, to the help of Yahweh against the mighty. Blessed above women shall Yael be, the woman of Chabar the Qaini. Blessed shall she be above women in the tent. He asked water, and she gave him milk. She brought him butter in a lordly dish. She put her hand to the tent pin, and her right hand to the workman's hammer. And with the hammer she smote Sisera, she smote through his head, yea, she pierced and struck through his temples. At her feet he bowed, he fell, he lay. At her feet he bowed, he fell, where he bowed, there he fell down dead. Through the window she looked forth, and she cried. The mother of Sisera cried through the lattice, Why is his chariot so long in coming? Why tarry the wheels of his chariots? Her wise ladies answered her, Yea, she returned answer to herself, Have they not found, have they not divided the spoil, A damsel, two damsels to every man, To Sisera, a spoil of dyed garments, A spoil of dyed garments embroidered, Of dyed garments embroidered on both sides, On the necks of the spoil. So let all thy enemies perish, O Yahweh, but let them that love him be as the sun when he goeth forth in his might. And the land had rest forty years.